<sighs> okay. So this was gonna be Bellic Ultra, Ghost Beast, another Ultra. The other Ultra is in next week's video, and you'll see why next week. So, first things first, let's go ahead and unbox. Ah, okay. Setting aside the Bakugan and Geogun for the moment, let's take a look at uh, cards and cores. Only two cores, let's quickly do those. Fire Fist, minus four Fist, Green Fist, minus three Fist. Not sure what you expected, Vilok is after all evil. So we have Vilok Ultra, uh, Cash Money, and plus four Fist if you land on a Fist. And Rage and Claw, which, hey cool, for Rascal. Plus 800B. Okay, cool. And gate card is... Is this Chaos Dragonite? Neat. So 700 to three elements and minus 200 for the other three. Not too shabby. And Geogun then, we have Shadow Slicer and Ghost Beast, who has a quite frankly insane 3000 B power. So, oh yeah, and the card here. Ah, right, cool, Parabian. Hang on. Are these mirrors of each? Not quite. These are almost mm -hmm. the same, just one of them buffs Chaos and the other buffs Aralus. So, cards and cores checked out. Uh, let's switch to Bakukan. Okay, so one part I didn't entirely think through is that there are only two cores I'm going to work with here. So, what's the rolling direction on oh, Villoc? Nope. Okay. Oh! Nice! Flips rather nicely. And, yeah, very different to the uh, core version, which let's just uh, drop under there. And they do the thing where they're recognisably the same creature. It's just that one of them is a significantly bigger take on it kind of thing, you know? Like the Ultra managed to expand a lot more. White balance, please. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, these are the same critter. Really do like the um, sculpting on this, on this underside part. So, close. Uh, head. Neck. And everything kind of has to happen at once. And then everything latches. Like, can it do the old drop and pop? Oh, -ho, she can. Shiny. So, let's say, however, that I did not successfully land that roll. That's why Ghost Beast comes into play as a Geogun. So, manual legs. Not a huge fan of, especially seeing as they could probably have been um, automated. Like, given that they just fall down. Yeah, that probably could have been. Either way, Ghost Beast. He is the ghost of a bull, which honestly is insane, and I am here for it. 3000B power, which is absurd. Yeah, Geogun are really something else. So. Fold and fold the legs and wings. And then for Ultimate Billock, who I am slowly piecing together in Darkus. You do that, then that. And it'll look something vaguely like this. 
but with more limbs. Yeah, I still have five components to go. I don't know what you want me to say. It's not going to look good without any without anything actually attaching together just yet. Let's do another drop. Yeah, geogun, satisfying to use. Actually. Nope. Come on. Come on. Right, okay. Swapping the call for a gate card. Already cheating a little bit. Couldn't I cheat a little bit more? Come on. Do the thing. Hey. Got there eventually. So, eh, Ghost Beast. He is fine. You know? So, uh, yeah, this has been a fairly short one, just Villa Ultra and a Geo Gun she can be played with. This has been Lucas Builds, and I will see you next time. I kind of wish these heads faced front, to be honest. That's like my one criticism of this. If they'd like added some kind of extra swivel or something. I don't know. See you guys next week.